of these. How are you today? Today is a wonderful day. Okay, so not only is it New Year's, um, it is a day where I am going to announce something very special. Okay, I contacted Jeanette at Miss Hootie Hootenin's Crafts and I asked her if she wanted to do a collab with me. And she said, hoot, 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 yes. <laughs> so uh, we got together and we started talking about what we wanted to do. And this is what we came up with. Starting today, we are gonna do a 12 project collaboration. And this collaboration is called the B, B-E-E, -E, be hootiful 12 project uh, collaboration. It's a long one, so I had to write it down. Collaboration with Crochet A Canada and Miss Hootie Hootenin's Crafts. So what's going to happen is on the first of every month, Jeanette and I are going to alternate months. So this month is, I'm going to start off this month. And we have to come up with six projects each and we have to do either a pattern release or a video tutorial release of something that we have designed oh, pressure holy man <laughs> so today i'm here to announce the first project of the year this is the Purple Haze Cardigan. I posted a couple pictures uh, yesterday on, was it yesterday or the day before? Uh, on my Instagram and Facebook. And this is the cardigan. I'm so excited. This is my own pattern. Um, this is my own design. And it's the first cardigan that I've really designed on my own. Um, so I'm so totally excited about this. Okay, so next month, Jeanette is going to do one. And then I'm going to do one in January, February, March. <laughs> and then she's going to do April, I'm going to do May, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the links down below of her channel and my channel on each each person's channel. And what we're asking you guys to do is to do the patterns and tutorials and then post them on our Facebook links. Okay, so when you finish doing the Purple Haze cardigan, go to my Facebook channel and go to Jeanette's fa Facebook channel and post pictures of what you've made. I can't wait to see what everybody does. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. And I am so excited. So now that I've finished this one, I got to think of something else. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what Jeanette has in mind for next month. But you have all month to make the project. Okay, so don't stress. All right. You've got all month. And then you just put your pictures in our Facebook group. And who knows, maybe we'll have prizes. Never know. <laughs> so, okay, guys, thanks for joining me. And uh, here's the tutorial. Bye. Hi, Yarnabees, how are you? So today we are going to be making the Purple Haze sweater. I'm so excited. Okay, so you can use any four weight yarn that you want. Uh, the yarns that I am using is the Craft Smart Value Ombre by, um, from Michaels. And this color is gray ombre. Okay, but it actually looks more purple than gray. So, and then I'm using another color that is the Bernat Premium. And this color is Grand Purple. Now, if you look at these two colors, these two colors are the same. So how they figured this is gray, I don't know. <laughs> 
but um, they go really well together. Okay, now what I'm doing, I'm doing a drop stitch in this um, in this sweater. So the the color, if you're using a variegated color for the main part of the sweater, I would use a color that is completely different than anything that's in here so that your drop stitches show because I'm using this color for my drop stitches and then this color for the main and they're really too close together really um, but I've already started doing some of the sweater and I've done too much to change now <laughs> so um, yeah so make sure that your drop stitch color is very different than your main color okay all right so let's see um we're doing a 6.5 millimeter hook all right now the sizing um is going to be for a small you're going to do chain 90 for a medium to large, you're going to chain 102. And for an extra large, you're going to chain 108. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to measure from shoulder to shoulder. And that's going to be the width of your sweater. And then um, this sweater is going to be a cardigan, like a longer cardigan. So it's going to go, you know, past your bum. Um, and that's where your 108, 102, and 90 are going to come into play. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your main color, whichever color you're using is your main color, and you're going to start chaining your... Um, whether you're doing the large, medium, large, or extra large. I'm going to have those sizes down in the description box <clears throat> so that you can, um, you know, figure out which size you need. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to just, oops, start with your slip knot here. And you're going to start chaining your amount of stitches. I'm doing 108. Okay, so you're just going to do a chain of however many stitches you are going to need. Okay, so I've chained my 108 stitches. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and you're going to go to two stitches. Um, oh, I should bring you in a little bit here. Um, you skip two stitches from your hook. You're going to go in and you're going to start your half double crochets. Okay. And you're just going to do one half double crochet all the way down to the end. Easy peasy. Okay. And if you're doing the 108, then you should come up with 107 uh, half double crochets. Okay, so you're going to do that all the way to the end, and I'll see you there. Okay, now that I've done my first row of half double crochet, you're going to chain up two and turn your work. Okay, you're going to go into your first stitch and do a half double crochet. Okay, now for the next stitches, you're going to do a uh, back loop half double crochet. Do your half double crochets in the back loop. What I like to do, and you don't have to do this, but I do this just to give a little more stability to my stitches is I like to go 
see this V here? Go in that V, put your front loop on your hook, and go in between the stitches, and pull through and do your half double crochet. Okay, so you're gonna go in between each of your stitches, in between each of your half double crochets. Okay, you're going to put your front loop on your hook and then you're going to go down in between your stitches. You're going to push this stitch right here in behind. Okay, pull up and do your half double crochet. Now you don't have to do this, but I just like to do it just to... Um, just to strengthen this stitch a little bit. Now I'll show you. This is what you would normally do if you were doing a half double crochet in the back loop. You would just go through the back loop, pull your yarn up, and half double crochet. Now you see the difference between the two? You see this big gap here? That's going to, that is going to make your work really loosey-goosey. And it's going to give like holes. I don't really like that. So, oh, sorry, hang on. Sorry about that. Okay, so to avoid that, um, that's what I do. I just put my hook in the front loop and then push my hook down in between the half double crochets. Pull up and finish my half double crochet. Okay, so that's all you're doing is you're going in between, oops, in between your half double crochet stitches. You just put your hook in, in your front loop, go in between the stitches, pull up, oh, I forgot to yarn over. Go in between your stitches and pull up. Okay, and that just really gives it a nice, nice look. But you don't have to. You can still do your regular um, half double crochet in the back loop. If I could actually do it. I don't do that anymore, so it's <laughs> kind of hard to do. But that's, that's the difference between the two stitches. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the half double crochet in the back loop for three more rows. So you're going to have four rows all together. Okay. Okay. And you're going to have this nice little ridge. All right. And I will see you when you get back after you've done your three rounds or rows. Okay, <clears throat> I'm at the end of my second half double crochet row, or first first row of half double crochet in the back loop. I've got one more stitch to do, and then your very last stitch is going to be a half double crochet. Okay, so you're not going to go in the back loop, you're just going to go right into the stitch and do a regular half double crochet. Okay, you're going to chain two, turn your work, okay, now you're going to repeat that last row, you're going to do your first, and your first stitch here, you're going to do half double crochet, regular half double crochet, and then in every stitch you're going to do the half double crochet in the back loop, okay, now you're going to do this for three Four, like a total of four rows. Okay. Okay. So if you look, you've got one, two, and you're working on your third row. Okay, so you're going to do one more row after this, and then I will meet you when you are finished. Okay. 
Okay, so just keep, keep doing your half double crochets in the back loop. Okay, so I'm at the end of my row, my end of my four rows. Okay, now you're going to attach your second yarn. Okay, so all I do is I take my yarn, put it over my hook, pull it through, tighten up my other yarn, and then I just knot it. I knot the two together. <clears throat> I just put a couple of knots in there just to hold it in place. Now from this point on, what you're going to do is you're going to be carrying both yarns. Okay, so you're going to be using, oops. Okay, you put your, the yarn that you were just doing, you just put that aside and you start using your next yarn. You're going to chain two and turn your work. This can get a little fiddly because you can get your two yarns a little bit um, tangled, but so just hold your yarns down. Okay, you're going to yarn over in this first um, stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet in your next stitch you're going to do a half double crochet and now in your third stitch we're going to do a drop stitch okay now I'm going to bring you in a little bit oops wrong way <laughs> okay so what you're looking for it's kind of hard to see with this color of yarn but you can see Here's your ridge row. Okay, that's your second row, or second row or third row? One, two, yeah. It's two rows up. You're going to have this ridge. Okay, it's a little ledge. Okay, that row just above the ledge is the row that you're going to be working into. Okay. Alright, so you're going to look at your stitches, you're going to go one, two, three. Okay, this, this stitch doesn't count. Okay, you're going to go one, two, three, should be right above this stitch. Okay, you're going to yarn over twice and you're going to do a front post triple treble crochet so you're going to pull your yarn through yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two okay now it's going to be easier as you go to figure out where your stitches are but this first row can be a little finicky now this stitch has a stitch behind it okay you're going to ignore that stitch. Just pull that pull that stitch up and it will cover that stitch behind and you're going to go into your next stitch and you're going to yarn over and do a half double crochet in that stitch. You're going to do a half double crochet in your next stitch. Okay. Okay, now here's your post. You're going to go one, two, three. Okay, and you're going to see these posts line up with these posts. So you're going to go into the third one, yarn over twice, go underneath that stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay almost like a waffle stitch but it's uh it's a dropped stitch so okay you're gonna yarn over you're gonna go into your next stitch make sure that this stitch is straight up and hiding that stitch behind it you don't want to go into that stitch okay you're gonna do your half double crochet In the next stitch, 
do a half double crochet, yarn over twice, here's your post stitch, you're going to go one, two, three, go in behind that stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, and you're going to do this all the way across. Yarn over, go into your next stitch, do a half double crochet, yarn over, next stitch, do a half double crochet, yarn over twice, here's your post, one, two, three, you're going to go in behind there, pull up a loop, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, then this is what it's going to start looking like. Okay, so you just have to remember that you're going to be above this line in that next row. That's where these post stitches are going to go. So you're in your third stitch, uh, third row. Okay, and you're just going to make sure that you've hidden these stitches in behind so you don't go in there. Okay. And you do your half double crochets. I do two half double crochets. Yarn over twice. Look for your post. One, two, three. Go in behind. Yarn over two. Yarn over two, yarn over two. Okay? Okay. And once you get this row done, you can come back and I will show you what to do next. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. I just did my last post stitch. Pull it up, hide that stitch. Now you're going to go into the next stitch, do your half double crochet. And then you're going to go into your next stitch, which is right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. You're going to do a half double crochet. Okay. Isn't that cool? Okay. Now you're going to chain up two. You're going to turn your work. Yarn over, go into the first stitch right here, do your half double crochet. Now you're just going to do a half double crochet in every stitch across. And that's going to complete the sequence that you're going to do throughout your sweater. So it's a six row repeat. Okay, so you're just going to do your half double crochets all the way across and I'll meet you when you get to the end. Okay, so I'm finished my row of half double crochet. Okay, here's my last stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go into that stitch Oops, come on, go into that last stitch. Now I'm going to drop this yarn that I'm working with. I'm going to go underneath it. I'm going to pick up this yarn, okay? You're going to put it underneath that yarn. And you're going to pick that up and start working with that. So you're going to pull that yarn down and hold it. You're going to pull yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, and that's going to attach your next yarn. So you're going to basically be carrying these yarns all the way up. Okay, so you're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work. 
Okay, I'm going to make sure that your other yarn is hanging down here so it's out of your way. Go into your first stitch and do a half double crochet. Okay, and now you, all you're going to do is you're going to repeat everything that you've just done. Okay, so you're going to do your four rows of your half double crochets. Okay, then you're going to switch your yarn and you're going to do your post stitch row. And then you're going to do your half double crochet row. And then you're going to switch your yarn again and you're going to repeat. Okay, so we're just going to do our um, half double crochet back stitch. <laughs> back. <laughs> oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> your your uh, half double crochet in the back loop. Okay. So you're just going to start doing that row again. And you're going to do your four rows of your half double crochet in the back loop. Okay. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to do my four rows of my half double crochet in the back loop. And I'll see you when I get back. Okay, so now you're going to change your yarn. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, go in that last stitch, pick up your other yarn. So are you going to hear George in the background? He's home and on the phone. <laughs> you put your yarn underneath that yarn, pull it up, and pull through all of your stitches and chain up two. Okay, there you go. And you're going to turn your work. You're going to see, whoops, you're going to see these stitches along the side, but don't worry about that. That'll get covered when we finish the sweater. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so now you're working with your, your um, accent yarn, and you're going to start doing your, your drop stitches. Okay, so you're going to Chain, um, do your half double crochet in the first stitch, your half double crochet in the next stitch. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now, you know how in the last one we made sure that, hang on, I'll bring you in a little bit more, that you made sure that you went above that ridge? <clears throat> this time you're not going to do that. <clears throat> All you have to remember is that your two rows down from this, the row that you're starting. Okay, so you go down two rows and that's going to be the row that you are doing your drop stitch. Okay, so remember that first one doesn't count. You're going to look, oops, where is it here? Okay, you're going to go one, two, three and it should be right in line. Okay. Sorry, that first one does count. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, so one, two, and three. So you're gonna yarn over twice, go underneath that stitch. Oh, now the dog's squeaking her ball. <laughs> oh. Okay. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay? Okay. So there we go. Yarn over. Make sure that this stitch is up against here so that you don't get messed up with that stitch. And go in double crochet or half double crochet in the next stitch half double crochet in the next stitch 
Yarn over twice. Go. One, two, oops, one, two, and three. Okay. Yarn over, go through two, go, whoops, go through two, go through two. Okay. Okay, so you're going to do this row with your drop stitches. Then you're going to go back and do a row of half double crochet. And then you're going to switch your yarn again. And you're going to, whoops, and then you're going to do your four rows of your um, half double crochet in the back loops. And then you're going to keep on going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I got to get a drink. <clears throat> You're going to keep on going until you get the width from shoulder to shoulder. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> um, I have this little chart here. It's how to measure chart. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure from shoulder to shoulder. Okay figure out how much that is and then you're going to keep doing your rows until you get close to that. Okay now let's bring you out a bit here. Okay so this is my back piece. All right so each one of these um, sections is I'm going to just call them sections, okay? So that is your four rows of half double crochets, your drop stitch row, and your half double crochet row, okay? That's one section, all right? And then you've got another section, another section, and you keep on going until you get too close to the measurement from shoulder to shoulder. Okay, on my sweater, my sweater is probably an 1x, extra large to 1x, I would say. Okay, so I have, um, let's see, 1, 2, whoops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 sections. <clears throat> okay. Now on this last row, what I did was I did a section, okay, and I ended off with my four rows of half double crochet. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to find the middle, okay. So since I have that many sections, six is like it doesn't divide into two so I had to go with the next best thing which would be six okay so I would have to have six sections on each side to make it even and I would have one section left over okay because this is my the, the row that makes it uneven it doesn't divide by two okay so I'm leaving this section open so that that can be when you're doing your collar this will be the back part of your collar okay so <clears throat> that's just the way I'm doing it if you have e an even number great but I didn't have an even number so I had to do the next number that would be divisible by two Right, because if I had 12, then it would be divisible by 2, and I would have 6 on each side, and I wouldn't have this in the middle. But I had 13, so I had to come up with a different plan. So that's okay. If you have a number that is not divisible by 2, then you can do the same thing. You just have the even amount on each side, and then you have the one in the middle. Okay? I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I did the 13, 13 rows, or 13 sections for my back piece. <clears throat> okay, now you're going to have oops, your even amount is going to be 
how much you're going to need for each side. Okay, so now you're going to do two more panels exactly the same way that is going to equal the same amount that it would be if you, because this is in half. I put this in half. Okay, so I've got six on one side, six on the other side, and I have that one row in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to do the six rows. Hang on. Which I have here. So you're going to do, in my case, you're going to have the six rows, six sections. Okay. That's going to be one side, whether it's left or right, whatever, um, of your sweater. And you're going to do two panels exactly the same way. Okay. So with this one, what I did was I didn't have that extra set of um, four. I ended it on the post row and the half double crochet row. That's where I ended my side, my one side. Okay, but that's okay. Get get your back finished. We don't have to worry about this yet. Okay, so just get your back part finished and then divvy it up. Figure out how much how much you need to fit your whole back piece. Okay? Okay. So once you get that done, um, just do what I said. Just put it and split it in half. Do your side panels. And then when you're done, come back and we'll put the sweater together. Okay, so I got both my sides done. So now you have your sides and your back finished. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your back. And you're going to... Oh, sorry about that. She's being a bit of a pain. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to take your back. And you're going to flip it so that your right side is down. Okay, it's kind of hard to do when I'm here. There's just too much to work with here. Okay, so here's your middle. Here's your end. You're going to take one of your sides. And you're going to have it so that your right side is... Oh, wait, no, sorry. What am I doing? You're going to do flip this so that your right side is up. Okay, it's facing you. Okay, then you're going to take your side and you're going to flip it so that your right side is down. Okay, see the difference? So you're going to put this down. And you're going to match these sides together. And you're going to, Bailey, stop please. You're going to um, put your stitch markers in to hold it. And if you can, try and match up. Stop. You're going to try and match up the, um, the ridges. Okay. And up your ridge, put it together, and do that for both sides. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention when you're putting on these sides, make sure that the side that you have all of your strings from your um, uh, carrying your yarn, make sure those are at the bottom, okay? The bottom of your sweater. So that when you put your um, your cuff on, you can cover that up. Okay. Okay, so now you've got your two sides together. So you're going to stitch all the way across on both sides. You can do whatever stitch you want. Single crochet, whip stitch, mattress stitch, whatever. Um, I always like to try and do something that's going to make this go flat. 
right? So, um, yeah. So just go ahead and stitch up your sides and I will meet you back when you're finished. Okay, everybody, now we're going to start on the sleeves. And <clears throat> you're going to start with your main color. Okay, and you're going to do this the exact same way as you did the rest of the sweater, except you're going to um, me well, obviously measure the length of your arm. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do this in a flat panel. Okay, so you're going to go and you're going to measure from your shoulder to probably, you know, a little, a little ways above, because don't forget you're going to have a cuff on your sweater. Okay, if you don't want a cuff, then um, measure maybe about an inch or two above your wrist, because don't forget when you wash your sweater, it's going to stretch. All right, so um, yeah, so I have already done one of my sweaters or one of my sleeves <clears throat> okay Oop. all right so I measured mine and this may it I won't know until I actually have it on if it's, this is going to be um, too long but because I do want a cuff on mine so mine measures 18 inches long okay So, um, and then I measured, oh, and then you're going to also measure around your arm, like the, the thickest part of your arm, your shoulder area here, your bicep, you're going to measure around there and you're going to give a little extra room. So I did, I believe 50 foundationless double crochet or foundationless half double crochets along the bottom to make my length. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now my width is 14 inches. That's around my bicep. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Now you have the choice, you can either do a chain or you can do the foundationless half double crochet like I did. I like doing the foundationless half double crochet because then it gives you some stretch. It's not going to bow on you. All right, so you don't have to do that. Okay, if you're doing the half double or the foundationless half double crochet, then you're going to do your slip knot. Oops. Okay. Put your hook in. Chain up three. Yarn over. Go into that first chain. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through one. This right here is going to be where you're going to be working into on your first and on your next stitch. Okay, so put your finger on that right there. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, yarn over, put your hook into that stitch that you had your thumb on, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up a loop, okay? Now, this right here is going to be the next one that you work into. So put your thumb on it. Yarn over, pull through all three, okay? Yarn over, go into that stitch you have your thumb on. Pull up one, yarn over, Pull up one. There's the stitch that you're going to be working into on your next stitch. Put your thumb on it. Yarn over. Pull through all three. Okay. 
yarn over, put your hook into that stitch that you had your thumb on, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through twice, okay, there's the stitch that you're working on and working in next, put your thumb on it, yarn over, pull through all three, okay, Yarn over. <coughs> Oops, I need more yarn. Okay, put your hook into that stitch that you had your thumb on. Yarn over once. Going yarn over twice. There's the stitch that you're going to be working on right there. Put your thumb on it. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. There's all your half double crochets. Okay, turn your work again. Okay, yarn over, go into that stitch you had your thumb on. Yarn over, pull up one. Yarn over, pull up two. There's the stitch that you're going to work on next. Put your thumb on it, yarn over, pull through all, all three. Okay, once you've got your, your set of uh, foundationless half double crochets, or your chain and your double crochets, or half double crochets, um, then you're going to chain up two, and you're going to start doing exactly like you did on the sweater, or on the base of the sweater. Okay, you're going to half double crochet in the first chain. <coughs> okay, then you're going to go in the back loop and do your half double crochet. Go in the back loop, do your half double crochet. And then when you get to the end of your row, the last one that you're going to do is going to be a double crochet. Okay? And you're going to do this for your four rows. All right? So continue to do your half double crochet in the back loop. All the way across and then do three more rows of that and then when you're done you're going to change your colors again and I will be there when you are done. Something I wanted to remind you, okay, when you're at the end of your row, oops, you always do a half double crochet, not in the back loop, just a regular half double crochet, chain two, and when you turn your work, you're going to do a half double crochet right into that first chain, or first stitch right there, okay? Not into this stitch, but into that very first stitch. So that's a half double crochet. Then you start your half double crochet in the back loops. And then you're going to go all the way across with the half double crochet in the back loops. And in that last stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet. Okay? And then you do your chain three, you turn, and then you go right back into that first stitch with the half double crochet. So I've got this out on my floor now because it's too big to show you any, any other way. But what you're going to do is you're going to, excuse my feet, <laughs> you're going to lay your sweater out um, right sides facing each other. And then you're going to stitch up the top of your sweater, like the shoulder piece of your sweater. All right, and then 
once you've done that, you're going to flip it up so that it's uh, um, right side down so you can see that's your shoulder. It's kind of hard for me to show you this because I can't see what's in the camera. <laughs> okay, so there's your shoulder piece. You're going to take your sleeve and you're going to put it right side down, but you're going to do it so that the, you know, these pieces here where you've got your, um, your joining for joining your colors, that is going to be at the bottom. So it's going to be at your cuff. And you're going to put that down. You're going to find your middle. Oops. Fold it in half. Find your middle. Which is about there. It's about there. And you're going to attach your middle to your um, seam. Okay. Then you're going to attach your stitch markers all the way down to put it in place. And then you're going to seam it all the way down. Not like the rest of it, just the arm. You're going to attach the arm onto the actual sweater. Okay. And then you should have, uh, something like that. Okay, this will all be open, but you'll have your attached sleeve. And then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so now I've attached my sleeve to my sweater. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to flip your sweater so that, again, the right sides are together. Okay, oops. I guess I should put my crochet hook down. <laughs> okay. There we go. So you put your sleeve together and put your side together. Okay, now what you're going to do, what you're going to start from the bottom, you're going to put your stitch markers all the way up the side of the sweater and across oops the sleeve okay and then you're going to sew or uh, attach all the way from the bottom all the way up what i'd like to do is i like to have at least one stitch marker right in the um right in the armpit and make sure that it's all even all the way down and then yeah and then just attach all the way up the the side of the sweater and across the sleeve here's another trick i like to do this is the bottom of the sweater if you look inside you can see your drop stitches try to match the drop stitches on both sides so there's your first, oops, there's your first drop stitch there. There's your first drop stitch on the other side. Match those up. And then put your stitch marker in there. So that you have, so that you have your drop stitches matching all the way down. Oops. Okay. You have your have them all matching so that when you put it together, it's all the same. Okay. So you just go along and match up all the stitches. Okay. Okay, so we're finished that part. Now we're going to do the collar. 
Okay, so you have your sweater out in front of you like this. Okay, now you're going to start on this side, which would be your right side if you had the sweater on. Okay, you're going to go down to the bottom of your sweater. Oops. Okay, this is the, the bottom corner. And you're going to start doing double crochets all the way up. Okay, so you start at the bottom. Okay, chain two. Okay. You're going to go into each stitch and do your double crochet. and each stitch along. Okay. You just keep going all the way up. You go all the way around your neck and then all the way down the other side. You just keep going. Oops. Keep going all the way down. Here's your neck piece. Oh, your neck piece. You're going to go across here and all the way down to the other corner. Okay. And I will see you when you're done. Okay, so I'm at the bottom of the other side of the sweater. I've got one stitch left. What I'm going to do is go into that last stitch and do one double crochet, chain two, go back into that stitch and do another double crochet. That will give us a corner. Now we're going to go along the bottom of our sweater. Okay, because on mine I have all these chain color change pieces here so I'm going to tidy that up so I'm going to do the same thing double crochet along the bottom just to finish it and make it look nice okay and then when I get to the other side then we can join it up and we can start the rest of the collar. Okay? Alright. Okay, so I'm at the end. I have some ends there I need to weave in. Okay, so here is your starting chain. Right? Or you're just going to finish with one more. Okay, now to connect this, you're going to chain two and connect it to the top of the starting chain that we did. Slip stitch. Okay, now you've got your other corner. Okay, now what we're going to do is, oops, wrong one. Eh, where's my, there it is. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back up the side of the sweater and we're going to do front post, back post. So we're going to chain two. Okay. We're going to skip this one that we attached to 
we're going to go into the next one. We're going to do front post. Oops, yarn over. Put your um, hook underneath that stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That's your front first front post double crochet. Now we're going to do the back post double crochet, yarn over, go in the back of that next stitch, put your hook up and over that stitch, pull your yarn through, and go through two and go through two. Okay, next one's front post, go through, pull your yarn through, go through two, go through two. Okay, next one's back post. So all you're doing is your front post, back post, front post, back post. All the way up and around to the other side. You're not going to do this on the bottom, just on the sides and the collar. Okay. And you're going to do this for as many rows as you want. Keep trying it on to see how it looks and how it fits. Okay. And there you go. You got front post, back post, front post, back post. Okay. So then you're going to, when you get to the other end, you're just going to turn your work and come back the other way. But I'll meet you when you get to the other side. Okay, so I'm at the other side of my sweater. And here's your chain two. What you're going to do is you're going to do a double crochet in that chain, at the top of that chain. Okay, and then you can chain up two, turn your work, and go back the other way. Okay, so this is going to, this chain here that you just put in, sorry it's black, I know, this chain here is going to end up being a automatic front post double crochet and then the next stitch is going to be a back post double crochet so you're going to go in behind okay next one's going to be front post you can tell the stitches what they're going to be because one will be sunken in the back, one will be up in front, so that would be a back post, this would be a front post. Okay, so you're just going to keep doing this for as many rows as you want. Um, keep trying it on uh, after you do each row so that you know how many, how much you need to do. And then after that, you're finished. Yay! So I will be back when I am finished. And then I will show you what it looks like on. No, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, holy cow. I don't remember the last time we had this much snow. Look at the icicles. Ah. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh,